Hey Reverb Nation, Sean at Galaxy Guitars. How y'all doing? Hope you're having a good day. What we have here is a 1983 to 85 um, man, made in Korea, AJ605V. How do I know that? Because it says right here, somewhere, where did there, there it is. And, uh, you know, I've gone through this whole guitar, which was a lot of fun. So the reason I really do this is to um, kind of work on these old things and try to get them up to snuff again. Uh, you know, I put the same amount of work into a Les Paul from Gibson as I do a Les Paul made in Korea. So uh, these cool little guitars. Um, don't kid yourself, it's not a Paul Reed Smith or a Les Paul and therefore you're not paying two grand for it. You know, it's a, a much lower price point than that. Um, been through the whole thing, adjusted the truss rod, um, oiled the fretboard, uh, polished the frets, uh, 0000 polishing. Um, it's got, had the tuning pegs changed on it, so it now has ping tuning pegs, and I believe the last time this was worked on was in the 90s, and that's about right when those were out. They're actually nice, uh, sealed, die cast. Um, uh, can, we cleaned and tightened the output jack, uh, cleaned and tightened all the pots on it, which was quite a bit of work. Um, the three-way switch, cleaned and tightened it, and when I mean tightened, that means when you play it, you're not going to have the, the knob moving around or whatever. Uh, the pickups, they're interesting. They're Samsung. It says underneath them, Sam, S-A-M, and then Sung, S-U-N-G, and, um, you know, I don't know if that's related. I did some research to see if it's like Samsung, the company, makes sense, right? And they're really well made. And actually, it's the cool thing about this guitar is the pickups. And the reason for that is most made in Korean guitars tend to be hotter output, like 10K, and they're a little shrill sounding, right? These are 7.71K in the bridge and 7.67K in the neck and that's really a warm PAF kind of sound and you can tell the difference it, it definitely is not you know some hair metal machine it's um this is more suitable for country and blues and things like that uh, a lot of rhythm playing which is right up my alley um so it's got the antique violin finish i actually researched this model online and found a brochure of it this was uh, the top line that they had. Um, it has an ABR1 type bridge on it. So I think it says BH underneath it. Um, and let's see what else we've done. We've tightened the strap pins, uh, changed strings or Gibson bright wounds 10 to 46, uh, set up the intonation. And the only other thing that you probably never know, we changed the switch tip. There wasn't one. Everyone, I don't know why they lose these, right? But they did. They didn't have one, so we put an appropriate black one on. So that's enough about the guitar. I'm going to go through the frets, uh, show the electronics work, shut up, and uh, that'll be that. So here's the uh, frets on it. Well, first of all, here's the electronics on it. This is the neck pickup. There's the volume. There's no <coughs> scratching sound, right? And here's the neck pickup tone. Subtle. And here's the bridge pickup. So I'm going to hit the neck, let you hear it, and then you can hear the bridge. And it'll have a lot more bite to it. So here's neck. Here's the frets on it. Yeah, I don't play up here. 
I don't know how people do. I'm a rhythm player. Uh, and uh, so here's uh, some chords with it. Here's a little overdrive into it because I know everyone uses pedals. No one plays through a clean amp. By the way, that's a Fender Deuce. It's a Fender Quad Chain Sawed in Half, a nice 70s amp. And here's a little overdrive. Uh, can't see the pedal, but it's one of my favorites. You can guess what it is. <laughs> Same phrase in the neck pickup. Cool little guitar for the Dollar Man, and it's, you know, 30 plus years old. Pretty cool. Uh -huh.